Hi guys, this is Raghavi from Headphone Zone. Now, we're helping thousands of people pick the perfect headphone for them every week. And one of the questions that I get asked virtually a dozen times every day is wired versus wireless headphones. Hey Raghav, can wireless headphones sound as good as wired headphones? Can they be convenient and portable and easy to carry around? In today's day and age of wireless convenience, do we really still need wired headphones? So I thought I'd do this quick video today doing a rundown comparing wired versus wireless headphones and giving you the pros and cons of going with both and helping you perhaps pick the right one for you. So I'm going to try and maybe offer a little bit of perspective to everybody that's comparing wired versus wireless headphones. When you buy a wireless headphone, for example, this really fine Sony WH-1000X Mark IV, which is for 25,000 rupees, you're not just paying for a headphone. You're paying for a really smart gadget that does a bunch of different things. You're paying for, of course, a nice sounding pair of speakers, which are inside these ear cups. You're paying for a digital to analog converter, which is translating the zeros and ones that it's receiving from your phone into an analog signal. You're paying for an amplifier that powers it up. You're paying for a dozen batteries, which are inside this device. You're paying for the Bluetooth chipset and the receiver. You're paying for the auto noise cancellation and the touch controls. So you're paying for quite a few different things in here. So the speakers themselves, the drivers themselves are probably a fraction of the price of the overall headphone. But when you buy a wired headphone, which is something like this, which is the Hi-Fi Mansundara, exactly the same price as the Sony's, what you're really getting is just and just a pair of drivers that sound good being held together with a headband and ear pad, nothing else. So all things equal, it's very likely that the wired headphone is going to have a pair of speakers that's going to sound several times better than a wireless headphone. Now, certainly with wireless headphones, they give you an incredible amount of convenience, right? You'll find that you can use it with all your smart devices, your laptop, your smartphone. You can take calls, you can listen to music. It's really an extension of your digital life in every way. And if that's what you're kind of going for, then the most convenient headphones out there in the world, at least in my opinion, is really a pair of Apple AirPods if you're in the Apple ecosystem. You just pop open the hood, the AirPods pair with your phone almost seamlessly. They work with your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac. You're taking calls, listening to music, and it's just in your ear all day long, every day. There isn't a more convenient way of using a hearable every day out there. The problem is very simple. The AirPods don't sound very good. They sound fairly ordinary. If you haven't heard a good sounding headphone, you might be fooled into believing that this is what good sound sounds like. But once you've actually heard a good sounding headphone or a earphone, you're going to realize that this is woefully inadequate in giving you an immersive listening experience. That's where wired headphones come in. For the price of an AirPod or a really nice wireless headphone, you can get stunning sounding wired IEMs or wired headphones that can really bring a music concert to life right in front of you. It quite literally feels like every element of the music, every part of the song is coming right in front of being performed in the same room. So with wired headphones you're getting much better sound for the money that you're spending and with wireless headphones you're getting a lot of convenience for the money you're spending so the thing that i tell a lot of people is that you can either get yourself a headphone that sounds really really good or a headphone that's really really convenient but very rarely can you get both you'll find that every wireless headphone or your phone in the world it's going to have a lithium ion battery that's most likely going to have a life of about 24 months or two years. After which the lithium ion battery, just the way on your laptop or your smartphone is going to lose its life and it's not going to work very well anymore or its battery life is going to be down to nearly zero. It happens with all electronic gadgets. The same is true for wireless headphones. You should keep in mind that any wireless headphone is going to last you as long as the battery lasts you. They're not replaceable batteries and then they go down the trash as soon as they're done with it. A good wired headphone does not have any electric components in it. It's just a pair of speakers and cables inside a housing. 
taken care of really nicely taken care of neatly they should last you a lifetime you'll find that there are people who've used headphones their entire lives and have gifted it to their children to use for many many years and they sound absolutely stunning throughout there's really no change in them so the thing i tell people is that when you're buying a wireless headphone you should keep in mind that you're using it for a reasonable short period of time after which it's of virtually no use but a good wired headphone is an asset for a lifetime so what's the downside with wired headphones? Well, there's a very simple one. None of our smartphones these days have a 3.5 millimeter jack to be able to plug a wired headphone into. But here's the good news. If you're pursuing good sound, the 3.5 millimeter jack on your phone or your laptop is simply not going to be good enough to be able to give your headphones the juice, the power, the information it needs to create a thoroughly immersive music listening experience. So what do you need? You're going to need a dongle or a digital to analog converter that you can plug into your smartphone or your laptop and your headphones will plug into that which was really going to bring about a thoroughly transformative change in the way that you listen to music. But there's a certain level of inconvenience that you're going to have to deal with. It's not just the wires that are around. You're going to have to figure out what DAC works for you, is compatible along with your iOS or your Android device and works really, really well. But you'll find that it's an additional cost. Sometimes digital to analog converters can be as inexpensive as two or three thousand rupees, but then sometimes they can cost even five to six lakhs. And it's a question of figuring out what's the right one for you, for your headphone, and one that really gives you the kind of sound that you're looking for. But that's a topic for another video. The other issue is that very often with good wired headphones that they need a certain amount of power. These magnets are really, really powerful. Sometimes these headphones can need that extra power to really work really well. So you may sometimes need an amplifier. Amplifiers too can be portable and can be combined along with the DAC, but very often the desktop amplifiers like the ones that we have here behind me and can be quite heavy and inconvenient. So the advice that I give people very often is that if you're looking for the pursuit of good sound, the inconvenience of the wires, of the DAC, of the amplifier should be a cost that you're willing to pay to be able to listen to music. Not all of them are going to be hefty, bulky devices that you need on your desktop. Some of them are the size of a pen drive that's flipped into your smartphone and you plug in your headphones or IEMs into that. But if what you're looking for is a device that you can use with you, carry it everywhere, be able to give you the convenience of having absolutely no wires around, then a wireless earbud, a true wireless earphone or a pair of wireless headphones certainly gives you a lot of convenience. All right, I hope that that was helpful. And if you guys would like to have a chat about wired versus wireless headphones, feel free to comment in the comments down below and I'll be very happy to respond to you all or come by our experience studio right here in Mumbai and we'll be very happy to show you the different headphones that we have or see you at a Headphone Connect event that's happening at a city near you.